Hey guys, hope everybody's doing well out there today. This is a video that I wanted to make because I got a what I thought was a pretty good question from a viewer. And what he wanted to know is what ammo do I recommend that he carry in a short barreled 9mm? So this would be an example of a short barreled 9mm, the Glock 43. So first of all, let's kind of talk about uh, what do I consider a short barreled gun? I'm just going to kind of use this as a blanket statement here to just to give you a general idea. I consider anything shorter than the Glock 19 to be a short barreled handgun. Now, now this is the TB model with the threaded barrel. So I'm not I'm not uh, counting the extended barrel on this G19. I'm saying any barrel shorter than a standard Glock 19 barrel I consider to be a short barreled handgun. Uh, that's just that's just my my personal belief. Okay so when you get to something G43 or smaller what I highly recommend is using any bullet weight between 115 to 124 grain specifically in a plus P loading here's an example this gold dot 124 grain plus P is what I have this loaded with right now very good uh, testing results in ballistic gel and other things such as that even through denim and all that now here's why I recommend that I recommend that you go no higher than 124 grain in the actual bullet weight because when you have a shorter barreled gun by default you're going to lose some velocity so we're using a plus P ammo to compensate for that velocity loss so we're so what we're doing is we're taking this gun and we're cranking out as much speed as we can get because we went with a plus P round with a higher loading. So we're actually getting more velocity out of this G43 than we would with a standard pressure round. Uh, therefore, we're making this short barreled gun. We're, we're, uh, we're giving it an edge. Okay, we're, it's, it's, it's almost like it's actually shooting out of a little bit longer barrel uh, comparing it to shooting non plus P rounds. Uh, to a longer barreled gun. So we're cranking up as much velocity and speed as we can get by adding a plus P uh, to the shorter barrel guns and it really does good in ballistic gel. Now uh, there is probably hundreds of rounds out there that pass all the gel test, do very good, uh, have good ratings and probably a lot of them are even plus P. This is just my personal opinion okay this isn't anything scientific and this isn't anything that's you know written in stone this is just uh, this is just you know H4T perspective and he wanted to know me personally what what do I prefer um, also HST in the 124 plus P now when we get up to the uh, Glock 19 or in anything bigger I have been using the HST 147 grain plus P and I've still went with a plus P even in these that's just a preference you don't have to I just do it um, this Glock 19 in particular the TB this is a factory uh, model that comes with the taller sights from Glock and it comes with a threaded barrel that's serial numbered to the gun this was a uh, they did some batches of these guns at one time and this is all factory Glock but when I run this, the threaded barrel in this gun for this uh, TB, I now am using basically the barrel of a G17. So any round I shoot through this Glock 19 is going to have the ballistics of a Glock 17. But that doesn't matter. Even if this barrel were cut, were cut just, you know, just coming out of the barrel, just coming out of the slide flush, like a standard G17, you can still use the 147 grain. Uh, but I would go plus P, like the HSTs. But anytime you get into a G19 gun or bigger, I don't worry. Uh, I don't worry or concern myself really with velocity loss. But on something like this, I highly recommend the plus P rounds, 115 to 124 grain, and that's just uh, my particular choice. So 
Hope this answers all your questions. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. And uh, if any of the questions I think are are good enough substance that it would benefit a lot of people, I'll just do like this and just do another video for you. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good day. This is H4T, and I'm out.